This wicked little beauty is the Turner CNC Ed Calderon Elvia collaboration. Ed Calderon, a man famous for his expertise in uh, drug interdiction and law enforcement from the Mexican side of the border. Um, he's been on my podcast. He's been on a million podcasts. Very interesting guy with some real, real world experience with knives and gun fighting and all of that. And he has real opinions on all this stuff, uh, how to evade capture, how to escape capture, um, how to fight with a knife, how to conceal, how to make weapons out of non-weapon items, that kind of thing. Uh, this is uh, based on his Elvia knife design, um, which is based on a fruit knife that his mother used to carry uh, when he was a child. And apparently his mother thwarted, uh, uh, thwarted a mugging with this, saved the family with a knife that she carried around uh, for everything, fruit and and work and everything else. Uh, so, the so his story goes. And uh, he always admired the effectiveness of that little fruit knife. So, so um, as a law enforcement officer, he would... He would get cheap kitchen knives like these Victorinox fruit knives. This is a large one. I have a smaller version of this in my car. And he would make little tweaks, bend the handle, put a little groove there, and optimize it for this sort of, well, this Pical style with the tip down and the edge in. Uh, just a fighting style that maximizes your sort of caveman, uh, sort of gross motor motions that you'll probably be using if you're um, all a wash in adrenaline and fighting with a knife. And uh, this is a an evolution of that idea. Beautifully done by Turner CNC in Nevada. I've been following them on Instagram for a while and they do these small impeccable drops. That's my dry skin, no doubt. Uh, I've seen them do tomahawks and they've done uh, some of these... Uh, different versions of the Elvia. Now this one is, hang on a sec. Let me get the paperwork so I can see. Turner CNC Inc. Now this is not mine, by the way. This is uh, Jocks from Jocks Knife uh, uh, across the ocean from me. And uh, he drop shipped this to me so I could check it out. And then I'll be sending this along to him. What a great little tiny self-defense tool. I mean, it fits in the hand perfectly. I have medium sized hands. And uh, there's plenty up here to put my thumb on. But that blade is really small. This whole thing is very, very concealable. Um, Ed's Manifesto Elvia C. That's DLC coating. That's 3V blade steel. And you can see sort of these concentric arcs from the milling. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 3V Elvia plain edge which leads me to believe they make this. I have seen this in the serrated edge, and I think they make this in a G10 uh, version too. Uh, the, the crispness of, the, of this diamond pattern feels really good in hand. It's nice and grippy without being obnoxiously textured. Um, these screws can be done and undone with the pennies that they give you in the package. I have not opened this up and I don't intend to because it's not mine. But look, nice clip there for clipping this to the belt. Now, it's got an interesting sheathing system here. When you attach this metal clip, you can cant it. You see how it's got these, uh, these grooves here, these curved grooves. You can change the angle uh, that you carry this on your belt with that. It's a pretty cool little system. And the sheath goes in there. Now, I have noticed that. But I also know, uh, just through a lot of experience, uh, this would be cool to have it on your belt like this. So you just kind of pull it out. But I also know that uh, frequently with a lot of sheaths that I have, once you attach the, the um, belt system and actually tighten those screws, it tightens up the Kydex a little. So... Um, I don't know, this, this company prides itself on its precision and no doubt from the look of this knife and the sheathing system, 
that is with good reason. This is beautifully machined. And um, so no doubt when, when those screws go in there and tighten up, this whole package tightens up. Um, but man, this thing is cool. Jock, congratulations. This is a really sweet uh, catch because the drops of these are small and I guess they've they've become as a casual observer a little bit more frequent but the, this is not like a knife you can just go pick up that's just available whenever that is not dry skin that is fabric of some sort man this thing is wicked let me show it off with a couple of other things i showed it with the fruit knife here it is with the with the copus designs elvia uh, also an ed calderon um collaboration now this one has a less extreme angle i love the angle by the way that that these pical knives uh, present the blade because uh, for a couple of reasons you can you can back fist with that you can you can jab with that you can box with that uh the way that presents the uh the blade at that angle it's pretty sweet uh but also when you're making that arcing motion uh it really maximizes the the cutting and the tearing uh, in that arcing sort of motion. Uh, here, this is this is the Copus Designs uh, Elvia. That's 154 cm blade steel with a basically a Scandi grind. An injection molded handle that's really nice and uh, thin. Uh, so much so that I I had Josh Mason of Bright for War Knives wrap this. He does beautiful Sukamaki wrap. That is genuine purple dyed ray skin and that cool lacing there. Uh, but he, so that's, so it's even smaller than the Elvia by Copus, which is a pretty small knife already. And then I'll show it with one other, oh wait, two others. Here's a an Ed Calderon Emerson collaboration, also called Elvia and uh, ever larger. So uh, this one is the most extreme with that cool angle. Uh, I'd say the Emerson is second. Uh, this one has scales from uh, Vantage Point uh, Blade Works. He does great stuff, especially for Emerson's, but all sorts of knives. Uh, he did that. And then I got this from, I can't remember who I got that from. Uh, so there it is. And then lastly, here it is with the Anomaly, another common Pical style knife. This one much larger. Uh, that's from Bastinelli creations a collaboration with Doug Markaita so much bigger you know you add that ring up there it's just a bigger bigger weapon uh, but this CNC uh, Turner CNC Elvia C is just a wicked little very hideable very nasty little weapon of course if you needed it you could use it to open up boxes too but that's not really what it's intended to open up Jock, thank you so much for uh, letting me check this out. What a beautiful knife. Congratulations on snagging this one in that last drop. All right. Thanks for watching.